Hi, and welcome to this video on the Carlisle AT101 Chevron tire. You know, the reason I made this video was because I didn't want you to make the same mistake I did and wait for several years suffering mowing with a Z-mower on some side hills when you have the regular turf tires it comes with. Now, I'm not here to recommend you do anything counter to what the instruction manual for the machine tell you to do. You'll notice my roll bar isn't all the way up either. Another story. But you do what the manual says and I'll do what, uh, what I need to get done. The reason I did not get these AT101 with chevrons originally is because, hey, I had a brand new set of tires with good tread and people told me I would tear up my lawn with a Z mower and these chevrons. Well, not true. The truth is, with this particular tire here, not only did it fill up with you know, mud and dirt and carry that into my building, but when it did slip, which was on every turn, I'd end up with a 12 inch wide by 16 inch bare spot of ground, the grass completely wiped clean. And it'd take a long time for that patch to heal. The chevrons are rounded at the edge. They're not like a lot of ATV tires. And the reason they have it that way is to minimize the amount of turf damage on the turns. Now, when you do have a little bit of turf damage on the turns with these chevrons, it just kind of picks up a little, you know, some of the turf in kind of a line that really kind of falls back by itself most of the time. I've had a lot less trouble with complete bare spots wiped out with these tires than with the old turf tires. But when it comes to mowing on hills, and yeah, I know what the owner's manual says, but we do it anyway, right? When it comes to mowing on hills, these chevrons give you a grip those turf tires just don't give you. And in fact, this hill behind me, which oftentimes in times of wet dew, doesn't even dry out by late afternoon, I used to just make a controlled slide trying to keep it pointed straight down the hill. Well, not anymore, and we'll show you that here in just a second. Let's watch. Now, as you just saw, I had pretty much complete control going down this hill and coming back up. And it's, it's mostly dry right now, but even with some moisture, there's very little slippage with these AT101 Chevron tires from Carlisle instead of the standard turf tire from Carlisle that came on the Z mower. Now, one of the other problems that you have is mowing sideways on a hill and getting a lot of slippage and sometimes actually just kind of losing it and having to just go down the hill. With those turf tires, that's pretty common. Additionally, when you do try to back up to make a turn, you can often turn one direction, but not the other. The turf tires have the same tread on both sides. So one side has a tendency to bite when the other one doesn't, just causes all kinds of problems. A lot more control with the AT101s. And we'll see that in another situation in just a minute. I do want to point out that if I was actually mowing, I would have hearing protection and eye protection on as well. Again, follow the recommendations for safety in the owner's manual. Now behind me here, you can see an area that's a little bit troublesome sometimes on a Z mower. It might be just a little bit steeper than what it was designed for. Well, with those standard turf tires, well, a couple of spots made it just a little bit iffy, especially when you get close to the trees. Now with these AT101s with the, with the Chevron and, and each tire having the same tread uh, with a non-directional pattern, you, you get an even distribution of traction so that you can back up either way. You're less likely to kind of slide down the hill. And if you do need to make some adjustment in the steering, you've actually got the traction to do it. Let's take a look and uh, hopefully you can kind of get a feel on the video for the real advantage that you do get with these tires.
Now what you just saw me do with these AT101s, I don't recommend you try it with the standard turf tires because I have had a couple instances as well, <laughs> kind of slid into the trees just a little bit. And these 101s made the big difference. And as you notice, when I got to the ends and turn around or when I try to actually pull straight back up the hill, uh, backing straight up the hill, there was a little bit of slippage, not quite 100% control, but I just wouldn't have even had a chance with those turf tires. One side would grab and one side wouldn't, and you just, you just end up getting frustrated. Or remove the frustration and have a whole lot more fun uh, mowing if you enjoy it, and a lot, uh, a lot less trouble, a lot less problems, more areas that you can get to, and we know how these Z-mowers save time. So click the link in the description, it'll take you right to Amazon, you can pick up a set of these tires and they will make a difference that you just can't believe. And if somebody tells you you're going to tear up the lawn because you don't have turf tires, don't believe them. Because I suffered for years under that illusion and it just wasn't true. Pick up a set of Carlisle AT101s if you have any kind of hills or difficult areas to mow like I have and you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching.